Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm talking to you about the hottest comics, my comic pickups, coming out May 4th, 2022. But first, please be sure to subscribe. We are very, very close to the 250 mark, and we're going to be doing a giveaway once we get to the 250 subscribers. So please subscribe, and comment down below what you're most excited for this week. Uh, it's not that big of a week, because it is Free Comic Book Day week. Um, I will be doing a later video about the Free Comic Book Days later in the week. However, I'm just talking about my comic pickups for this Wednesday. So diving right in, we're starting off with Avengers Forever number five. This is my favorite Avengers of the Avengers title so far. Avengers Forever focuses on Ghost Rider and his parallel multiverse that he's been going to. So this one in particular looks like it's going to center around the Doom Supreme, who we've heard about, we just don't know nothing much about him. He's the multiversal master of evil, and he's the Doom above all. So he is the amazing, incredible Doom, but we don't know that much about him. So in this issue, you hopefully we find out a lot more about him also still don't know who avengers prime is so really expecting that to be released as well sometime soon but really looking forward to this Batman 123 releases. It's another Shadow War tie-in, and this one is going to be part five, I believe. And it looks like Batman and Robin are reunited once again together, hunting down the truth for Rachel al Ghul's killer. And I love a good who done it. Still don't know exactly who is the killer, uh, but Deathstroke, you know, he's fighting for his name, he's fighting for his family, he's fighting for everything right now in the line. And I just gotta point out the art in this Shadow War series has been really Really great I've really enjoyed the art uh, their costumes and all of that I think that's been a really fun addition and I really like how it's been intertwining with one another it's a little basic of a storyline and it's not my absolute favorite but I am enjoying it and having fun Batman Beyond Neo Year number two releases this week as well, and I really enjoyed issue number one. I thought it was a nice issue number one. I do want a little bit more in this issue number two, a little more action, a little more Batman Beyond doing Batman Beyond things. Um, I am very sad that like Bruce Wayne's gone, but like that's a part of the story. That's a part of Terry McGinnis, so it's just really tough embracing that scenario. Uh, but I've really been enjoying the storyline so far, and we're gonna see how he's going to be making it to the end of this neo year so hopefully terry mcginnis survives and you know he's able to make a really great name for himself batman killing time number three releases this week as well I've really been enjoying this Batman Killing Time. I think it's a really fun addition to the Batman Catwoman story. Uh, so having the, this Catwoman sideline story with the Riddler and all of that is just a really fun addition. Uh, it is only out of six parts, so this part will make it halfway through. And halfway through is usually a really big point, so hopefully we're getting to that climax in this issue and find out who this strange new villain is uh, that they're promoting. So uh, I'm not too sure. Sure, we're gonna find out. Dogs of London comes out this week. It is a brand new Aftershock title and this one really piqued my interest because right off the bat it kind of reminded me of like a Reservoir Dogs type storyline. Uh, it does seem like a revenge story so how deep must you bury a body make sure it doesn't haunt you is like the title phrase to it and that's already kind of scary you know these these people they look like they've been in the swinging 60s uh, they're in the mobster time era and you know their their past is kind of troubling up to their present and they're trying to get rid of the people that are haunting them and who refuse uh, as they say to roll over and play dead um, so I really like Peter Milligan he's the writer of this he's done like X-Force Hellblazer things like that he's also done some other Aftershock that I quite like so I'm really gonna give this a try I think it's a really interesting premise and yeah I'm excited to see how this plays out Firepower number 20 releases this week. It looks like we're finally going to get some uh, clarification on Master Shun, this new character we got introduced in the last issue, and how they might defeat this dragon. This dragon is freaking large and powerful and like how is that even gonna be owen believes that it's his destiny to defeat this dragon but somehow i feel like it might not be just his destiny alone it might be the family's as well so really really interested to see how that plays out 
Also, Flashpoint Beyond number one releases this week. I really liked issue number zero, and this one hopefully dives in more to who this clockwork killer is, uh, and who exactly is pretty much toying with Thomas Wayne. He is having a really hard time right now with everything that happened in the last events. I don't want to spoil too much, but things cranked up a notch, and I'm really interested to see how this event is going to play in, and whether it intertwines with any other DC continuity stories, because so far, it's only been tying into previous Jeff John stories, um, and not too much as, like, what is happening now in the DC world. So, maybe it will intertwine at some point or maybe it'll just be a standalone thing i like that too so either way i'm totally happy and i'm really really excited for it iron man number 19 releases this week as well and it is the conclusion of the core Vox saga and i'm excited to see how this ends tony gave up his god powers so how is he going to fight a god without his god powers that seems to be the big kicker here it seems like the big scary uh what if and we do know since in, pre in future solicitations that iron man is planning to propose to Hellcat. So, will their wedding happen soon? You know, will he propose in this issue or is it going to wait until next issue? Sometimes Marvel leads to um, false uh, synopses and really is like the one before or something, you know? So, it might be this issue, might not. It might just focus on how he defeats Korvac in this issue, which I am really excited to get to the end of this and move on to something different. Little Monsters number three releases this week as well, and I am so pumped. I have a rule in my top 10 that I cannot put a comic book in my top 10 unless three issues of this comic comes out. And guess what? Issue number three, Little Monsters is going to my top 10. <laughs> I've really been enjoying this comic. I love vampires, and I really just enjoy Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen's partnership. So having them back together after Ascender Descender is just amazing, in my opinion. I am really invested into these characters, and I'm just dying to know what happens to these kids. I think they are fascinating, and I cannot wait to see how all this will play out. Maestro World War M number three releases this week as well and it looks like he's going to be fighting Abomination in this issue. Maestro is just a really fun character for me. I think he's just a really aggressive uh almost villain-esque Hulk and he is just so cool and I really really dig Peter David's interpretation of him so I've really been enjoying these storylines and it's almost over it ends at issue number five so we're getting oh we're getting close to the end once in future number 25 releases this week as well and man i think once in future is a very underrated boom title a lot it came out around the same time as something's killing the children so a lot of people focus their attention on something's killing the children but i think once in future is just as good and it, although it is very different it's more heavy on like arthurian led fantasy and like king arthur and lancelot and characters like that it still has a really Really great tone to it and it still revolves around family and all kinds of things there is great action and the art by Dan Mora is outstanding so I'm really excited to see how this one unfolds and who actually will be the true king I'm very looking forward to this because this issue also looks like it might be a Christmas issue and that just seems like a really fun time Radiant Black number 14 releases this week as well with that cover A having that homage to the uh, Wolverine cover and I think this one is going to be really really fun. I'm hoping we are starting to really take off on this Radiant Black universe. Every issue just seems great very more and more and more in this world and lore and having just your own you know superheroes and you know a lot of the time not knowing whether they're actually superheroes anti-heroes whatever they want to be they're kind of just living their daily lives and are forced into this superpower world because of these black holes so really looking forward to see what goes down in this issue and I really like all the covers as well 
Righteous Thirst for Vengeance, number seven releases. This is the comic I call The Wong Place at the Wong Time. Uh, and Doctor Strange releases this week with Wong in it. So, great timing in my opinion. <laughs> this one is going to focus on all on how everything will collide and what will eventually be discovered i don't want to spoil this comic because i think this comic's a really fun uh interpretation especially because i have this really gut feeling that this will be a movie or tv show sometime because it just reads like that and i really hope it does i think it's just like a really fun comic and if we could get the guy that plays wong uh, to be in it that would be even perfect uh so really looking forward to this issue star wars obi-wan kenobi number one releases this week it is a mini series of five and it's written by christopher cantwell i think this one's going to be really popular this week obi-wan is coming out at the end of may so having his comic book just in time for people to catch up really 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 excited for this show so i think this is gonna mainly spend his uh his final days on tattooing and what really happens then and maybe this might even lead into what the show takes place i'm not too sure but it looks like in this tale obi-wan considers a youngling adventure he narrowly survived when he was about eight years old as well so it looks like we're gonna be getting some flashbacks of obi-wan just a lot of obi-wan lore so i really like that and hopefully that just adds a layer to this show coming out tmnt ongoing number 128 releases as well this looks like it's going to be the actual first full appearance of venus or frankenstein venus um and i think the cover is super cool um i'm interested to see what happens with these punk frogs and i'm really just looking to see what these new villains have in store because i was getting a little bored of the old villains i thought they were kind of getting mediocre and overdone so having new villains in this tmnt world can really make it shine and i'm really looking forward to that and last but certainly not least my pick of the week twig number one it's written by scotty young and drawn by kyle strayham and honestly i've been looking forward to this book for about like four years or so now i follow kyle strayham and scotty young on social media and i noticed kyle strayham drawing this like for so long and i was always so interested and it was a comment that he made that it's actually a book that he's working with scotty young and i was like oh my god i need this comic <laughs> um so i've slowly seen him draw and progress this comic on social media and i am really really looking forward to this i think scotty young is a fantastic writer Writer. and I think every time he writes something it is something unique and different and something he's not really done before uh, so whenever he does independence it's usually very different from each other and this one is no exception this one takes as like an all ages story and follows this character this fuzzy blue monster named twig and his friend splat around on an adventure and to me this comic looks a lot like the series bone um, as well it's like maybe like a dark crystal a jim henson vibe uh so i'm really excited to see how our hero twig is able to set out on this adventure i mean like i i've always said all ages comics are some of my f absolute favorite comics because they don't have to worry about focusing on a crowd instead they focus for everyone and all ages comics are not meant for just all kids they are meant for everyone and this one shows that is no different so i can't wait for this comic there were some fantastic covers including a gorgeous scotty young cover and i just really hope this comic does well i know it sold a ton and has a ton of store exclusives so i just really hope a lot of people continue to pick this up after issue number one and yeah i'm just i'm really really excited for it so that's going to be all my comic pickups for this week may 4th 2022 but be sure to check out all these comics and many more at your local comic shop this wednesday have a great day